Welcome, welcome. Gold Rush, part two. Still the same day. But uh, here we are. Back on the farm, Giga Farm, Animal Farm. We're going to go east and then north. Mm hmm. 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 Find the rest of the gold. <coughs> and have our way with. Uh, Plow, harvester, some more animals, a cedar, cultivator. Mm -hmm. Oh, almost got run over. Bloop. plan uh, is coming together uh, quickly and it's a lot more fun let's face it especially if you haven't done a gold run or watched a video of a gold run yeah, the first 10 are you know somewhat difficult And then the rest, it is just a run. There's some creative uh, hiding spots for the gold. So we'll discover those and tackle those interesting problems. Fifty-three. mainly rooftops oh uh, was that in uh, in game can you guys hear the uh, birds chirping and my footsteps I think that you can. Let me uh, let me see what my volume levels are like. Ah, uh, there's a uh, weed whacker or blower machine. Uh, you know, leaf blower out somewhere in the complex. I'm at my girlfriend's house pretty much uh, and here all the time. She's at work and uh, she has high-speed internet access so yay I'm taking care of some business here. Getting her done. We'll uh, we'll go over the store pretty carefully. Go over what um, I have and what I'm missing uh, with a emphasis on uh, getting ready for uh, cows and pigs. North. We may uh, buy a different field. I think 13 probably will be grass. It's nice and small. And, uh, I haven't ever filled a bunker with uh, grass for uh, silage. But uh, we may get close. 
before this game's over. I'm not centered. <laughs> In 15, that is Farm Sim 15, you had to find the gold coins and uh, and then you had to throw them in a well, which you also had to find. Of course, one search on the internet, and you knew the location. Out in one corner by field 40, I forgot already, it's irrelevant now. I'll never play 15 again, almost for sure. I never say never, but come on. This is uh, pretty fun. And I know these episodes, uh, you know, the gold rush. Okay. Didn't even see it and I got it. They may be kind of boring, but it's a treat. It's a treat for me and for the farm and for future episodes to have that money available. And uh, I know when I left Farm Sim 15, I had not done any videos. Arthur Chapman, uh, the man who I consider my mentor uh, in all this, uh, did a lot of videos. And he had started one, uh, which I failed to uh, continue to watch where the idea was you were a non-farmer or maybe um, knew a bit about farming but you inherited a farm at a million dollars and you could uh, basically do whatever you wanted and play farm some 15 and so that um, that's not really lost on me that uh, kind of is my multiplayer game uh, I didn't tell such a deep and detailed story, but uh, I uh, I kind of like that idea. I found all the gold nuggets on that map, even though it's multiplayer. I did it single player. If you look at that series, it's a uh, established farm, and so without really having the idea that you inherited a farm and money, it's kind of the treatment that it's getting. Well, I got that one without even seeing it. And that happens every so often. Oh, I gotta go north central. Oh, I thought I got all of them up there. But anyway, it's just a chase. Just a chase. You know, all these trees can be cut down here and then you can mow all this grass. So, we don't need a huge field uh, of grass. I don't know if 13 is the smallest on the map. It's definitely the smallest one we own. 10 is pretty small. It's way over there by Stanton Sawmill. And yeah, then 13. Uh, so, we don't, you know, 10 is just so far away. The whole idea is to have everything close. exactly where I need to run. We'll find out.
because of our beautiful little black dots. I wear my reading glasses because um, it's just so much better for me to be able to see what I'm doing. Oh yeah. So I just get some reflection. Uh, I'm trying it at an angle and uh, to see if I can cut down on that. So if you want to bother posting a comment, you, you certainly can. Uh, when I look, well, right there, I can see I'm, I've got a window in front of me. Overhead light, but it's off. Nighttime, it'll be on. And my keyboard is lit, but that is not not enough to do anything right now. So there it is. <coughs> I don't know how much we're at. We'll find out with the next one. I mean, I could look on statistics, but I don't want to bother. My hands are tied up running. Uh, staircase. Yep. <sighs> All right, let's, um, wow. Let's go straight south, what the heck. What the heck. We are coming up on our farm, just off to the left. We'll put some beehives in, and eventually some lettuce and, and uh, tomato. Oh, this is uh, right here. Oh, is this the one that's over here? Get down. No? Oh, it's outside. I don't know, up the stairs? We'll try. I can't remember. Yeah. Ah! I love not breaking any bones when you take a big jump like that. Of course, if they ever change it, I'll end up all broken and crumpled up at the bottom of a big fall. I usually don't read what they've updated which could be detrimental to my gameplay but I'll learn it soon enough ah. okay. and if something really is stumping me then I will go back and read what the devs have done I watch enough video though that I can usually hear what's been done before I even get a chance to play. So, good, bad, or indifferent, that's what I do. Because this is all about having fun. You know, this is not a job, despite what you might think. Alright. 
Ah, the island. Probably walked past this thing three or four times when I was out here. Uh, never hit it. I hope the uh, modders of this map aren't toying with me. You know, they could easily not give the million dollars. And uh, it's be two wasted videos, but that's okay. That is okay too. All right, this is getting ridiculous here. Ah. Boy, that's a tough one. Bloop. is five o'clock local time I'm in Eastern time zone United States and uh, after this video I'll make myself some dinner since my beautiful Ilana is out at work right now What did I do? I missed one way up here. No, well, that's not uh, at the wood place, the mill, sawmill. It is, oh, I, I guess I knew there was one here and I didn't know. So, any comments, uh, comparisons between uh, 15 and 17? Leave them in the comments and I'll talk about them. Sorry, itch on my ear. All right, number nine. We definitely got to go south, and uh, we'll be hitting the town, and we'll go along uh, Gomez Ridge Acres there and uh, get those, and then we'll kind of work our way back to the farm. Kind of, sort of. South on the lake shore, back in the water. I. Uh, I cut some trees once way up here and you can swim with trees and I swam them all the way to the logging pond section. You got to get the logs inside those two wooden barriers. That defines the, the area that they'll pay you for logs. Before I discovered the heating plant I mean, I knew about the heating plant. I just didn't know that it was that much better. So. Mm -mm -mm. Just passed it. Thank you. What do we got here? Do I got another one up high? No, I don't think so. No, right there. There is one up high somewhere along here.
This one I don't think is up, I think it's down. But is it up also? Oh no, this one I think is on one of these little... These, um, these step outs like this, there's, there's something missing on those um, because this has wood decks and it's a train line. Even though this is cement and this is steel, these wood decks can burn. And uh, so what you get is uh, a fire extinguisher, water barrel, sand barrel, something to put the fire out. So it uh, it's missing from the game. Small oversight, but pretty accurate bridge. So steel, wood, concrete. Usually, they don't use so many disparate building materials. Is there one up on this one? I honestly can't remember. There must be. Yeah, I think that there is. Uh, all right. They're very low, but they say hello to you. Okay, she didn't. Well, maybe it was late. Oh, there, she said hello. Wow, that's bright. How the partner?
when you get stuck like this object too heavy when you get stuck like this go back to uh, here and then you gotta uh, cycle through on the other way and we're gonna go to the shop I think it's at the very end. Kind of screwed up. Visit. Okay. Yeah, so I didn't want to deal with getting out of that hidey hole. Okay, so we know. up there okay Gomez Ridge Acres and we could visit there too um, but I just as soon run Wow my apartment, uh, which I'm not at, is uh, very close to uh, the airport. Uh, Fort Lauderdale Airport and uh, the planes uh, fly right overhead on final. You can hear them. I don't mind, of course, because that's what I do for a living. But. Uh, I am standing right on the piece of gold. Unbelievable. Okay. some reason but that's all right oh that was nice never saw it I was running I jumped over the rock and picked it up it's because it's super cool. So, uh, other games, uh, Transport Fever, of course. The webcam overlay does not work. At least I haven't found a setting to make it work. Oh, yeah, I forgot. There's two over here. Oh, okay. Um,. But you can hear my nasally voice, and uh, I do um, the campaigns. I have two videos in the U.S. campaign done, and I have a, the start of my free game, and it's pure survival. And that's a lot of fun. Then there's, uh, what is that, Interstellar? Oh, shoot, I don't know the name of it. Well, anyway, I'm going to uh,
going to try that. That's multiplayer. My boys might like that a little better. A little better than Farm Sim. They're 20 somethings, millennials. They just, they don't get it. They don't get the draw of this game. Though, I know there are younger than them, millennials, and uh, Generation X's. I mean, other, other, all age groups play this game. But, uh, my boys. Uh, yeah. <coughs> Alright. Big nine. Got to go high for those. One by the spinnery. Okay, let's go. Over here. Kind of work our way back and around and up and down and north and south, east and west. And, uh, give you all the latest and greatest. I think... I'm going to have to put that overhead light on soon. Oh. Well, that's a sales call. San Rafael. Sorry. You lose. Unknown. Of course, it could be someone wanting to trade work schedules. That's always a possibility. But they can leave me a message. I'll call them back. Sales calls generally don't leave messages. They'll call five, six numbers at a time, or I don't know how many, and they just wait for one to answer. And then the guy starts, the guy or gal starts talking. That's why there's always that delay. Ah, there is one up here, okay. So that's up high. Ninety four. I'm going to have to get the tractor. Okay, that's up high. That might be it. Okay, I'm going to tab into the tractor and I'm going to go uh, get the front loader arms and the shovel. Use them as climbing aids. is not in front of me. Got the sunroof open. The map is in Colorado. Uh -oh. And uh, I live in Florida. 
no palm trees, lots of pine trees. That's okay. And five. Stuck. Let's go uh, the bakery, the spinnery, the shop, and whatever one is up there, I forgot. Well, talk about not paying attention. That's how you smash your front end loader into a pole.
Let's see, that won't work. Ah, this will work. Let's see. Wow, that was almost too easy. Oh. How many? Ninety nine. All right. Last one is north. I think it's on top of the building. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Hello. I can't remember. I don't think one was on top of the building here. Let's get out and go. Maybe it was. Maybe. It was on top of this building. Yeah, I guess it was. Ah. 
You found all the nuggets. Transfer to your account. A million bucks. We just happened to be right near the store when we did this. Bless you. All right. Now we got some thinking to do. P. Garage. We have a New Holland. Uh, tractor it gives us 117 horsepower and um, it has a front end loader of course we already know that we got a Brantner it uh, is cheap to operate and um, it carries huh, everything. So we'll just keep that. We got a weight. We got uh, mowing equipment, logging equipment, cleaner, the vehicle workshop, and the heating plant. Okay. Now, if we get out of this, go to escape. We got field three we're going to dedicate to grass. All right, so we got to be able to plant the grass. Sewing machines. We want a sewing machine that, uh, let's see, grass only grows once. So if we, there's grass, that's the Great Plains that we had and it carries fertilizer with it. Maybe for grass, and that's a small field, it's got a three meter. That's potato, that's uh, no grass anyway. This is the uh, Vader stat. Um, that cultivates. I might get that one eventually. But we're just worried about grass right now. This one's potato. This one is not grass. This one is huge. Nine meters and it's grass. So, yeah, I don't, I mean, nine meters, I just don't need. We can get this and we can um, use the uh, fertilizer and fertilize our grass. Select buy. No, let me go back. I want to see what the horse power is. 100 horsepower, we have 117, okay. So I do want to buy that. Okay. Very good. That's at the store. Now, for grass, we need a plow. Okay. We got to plow. All the fields need plowing. Select. 
So uh, we got a hundred and uh, so this is a one-way plow. We don't want that one. This at least is two-way. It's two meters. It needs 120 horsepower. Oh, 180 horsepower. 240. 300. Holy moly. That means we need a new tractor. So what, what plow do we want? That's a 180. Um, and that one, that's all we'll need for these small fields. This Titan is quite a bit more for 4.9 meters. And then, uh, wow, that's 77,000 for 6.2 meters. Not much more. Okay, that's, those are for bigger fields. I'm going to go with this. We need 180 horsepower. All right. Let's take our purchase back to the farm and call it an episode. <laughs> if I can stay in the tractor. So we want, um, we need a, 180, so I want about, um, I want half again as much. That's 90 more. That's 270-ish uh, on the horsepower for a tractor, 270. Well, we may not need 270, actually. But we want upwards. I'd go down to 240. I think there are some 240s around. <laughs> this little tractor's having trouble. It would definitely need a weight to uh, to do to use this sewing machine. Definitely needs a weight. Yeah, that's with the shovel and arms on the front. So, now that we got our first piece of uh, equipment, drop it off here all right thank you so much for watching the uh, day two of the gold rush we now have over a million dollars and we'll start the next episode with uh, a new recording and um, we'll uh, buy the rest of the equipment we need 
after I eat dinner. Thanks again. See you on the farm. Remember to like and subscribe. It really helps. Have a good evening.